he want to be called human. He will not stop, not even for a minute, fighting for peace and for justice. You will go out on the streets. You'll scream. Your lips will bleed from the screams. Your face will bleed from the bullets, but not even a step backwards. Your every scream is a rock at the warmonger's windows. Your every movement is like ruining injustice. And make no mistake, don't let yourself be carried away. Not for a minute. By just relaxing for a single moment, remembering your childhood years, you leave thousands of children to be slaughtered as they play, unsuspecting, in the cities. If you take just a moment looking at the sunset, tomorrow people will die by the night of war. If you stop for a moment to dream, then millions of human dreams will turn to dust under the bombshells. You don't have time, no time for yourself. If you want to be called human, if you want to be called human, you may need to leave your mother, your lover, or your child. You will not hesitate. You will deny your lamp and your bread. You will refuse the night of rest in your doorway for the rough road that leads to tomorrow. You will not cower or be afraid of anything. I know it is beautiful to hear a harmonica at night to gaze upon a star and dream. It is beautiful leaning on the red mouth of your lover to hear her telling her dreams of the future. But you must bid farewell to all that and begin because you are responsible for all the harmonicas of the world, for all of the stars, for all of the lamps and all of the dreams. If you want to be called human, if you want to be called human, you may need to be locked in prison for 20 or more years. But even in prison, you will always remember the spring, your mother, and the world. You, even within the square meter of your cell, will keep walking your road upon the earth. And when, in the infinite silence of night, you knock with your finger on the wall of your cell, Spain will answer you from the other side. You, even as the years pass by and your hair turns white, you will not grow old. You, even inside the prison, every morning will wake up even younger. For always, wars will start in the world. If you want to be called human, you have to be willing to die any morning. Late at night in isolation, you will write a touching letter to your mother. You will write your initials on the wall with a date and one word, peace, as if you were writing the entire story of your life. To be able to die any morning, to be able to stand in front of six rifles, as if you stood before the whole future. To be able, above the battery that kills you, to hear millions of ordinary people singing and struggling for peace. If you want to be human.